At LTA, we connect people, places and possibilities. But we know there's more to it. As part of Singapore's effort to reach net zero emissions by 2050, we're working to create a greener, more sustainable land transport system through our six green strategies. Land transport is the third largest emitter, contributing about 15% of national emissions, and we're committed to doing our part. We've set an ambitious goal to more than halve these emissions from their peak in 2016 by 2040. We're making it easier for everyone to switch to greener ways of commuting. Our rail network continues to grow from the early North, South and East West lines to the Thompson East Coast line and soon the Jurong region and Cross Island lines. Our cycling network is expanding and we are introducing more friendly streets and road repurposing projects to make walking and cycling safer, more convenient and comfortable. To enhance first mile, last mile connectivity, autonomous shuttle service will be progressively deployed in HDB towns. By 2040, 90% of peak journeys will be made by walking, cycling or riding public transport. And by 2030, 80% of households will be within a 10-minute walk of a train station. We are transforming our vehicle landscape too. By 2030, half of our public buses will be electric. And by 2040, our entire bus fleet will be powered by cleaner energy sources. For private vehicles, all new car and taxi registrations will be of cleaner energy models from 2030. In tandem with electric vehicle adoption, 60,000 charging points will be deployed by 2030. To further support our vision of 100% cleaner energy vehicles by 2040, we are introducing a heavy vehicle zero emission scheme and an electric heavy vehicle charger grant to accelerate the adoption of cleaner energy heavy vehicles. Sustainability is at the core of land transport infrastructure planning, design and construction. By using carbon mineralized concrete, we aim to achieve a minimum reduction of 20% in carbon emissions compared to conventional concrete. This has been adopted in several civil contracts for the North-South Corridor (NSC) to construct drains, precast viaduct segments and footpaths, saving over 1,700 tonnes of CO2. We will incorporate the use of such low-carbon materials in other projects, such as the Cross Island Line, to build a cleaner and more sustainable future. As we continue to expand our rail network, our MRT stations are also becoming more energy efficient with dual-speed escalators, LED lighting and hybrid cooling systems. We will deploy solar panels on the roofs of upcoming and newly upgraded land transport infrastructure to harness more renewable energy. As part of our long-term energy reduction plan, we have converted our street lighting to LED and are progressively changing out the lightings in our road tunnels and vehicular underpasses. Innovation is key to creating a greener tomorrow. By co-creating solutions with our partners, we incorporate recycled plastic waste into road surfaces, increasing durability by 30% while diverting waste from landfills. And we're financing major projects like the Cross Island and Jurong Region lines through green bonds, helping Singapore transition to a low-carbon economy. We are working with communities to encourage sustainable commuting options like walking, cycling and public transport through bus depot tours and World Car Free Day events to school programs and the Move Light campaign we hope to build positive perception, greater buy-in and appreciation for our land transport. Every step counts when it comes to reducing our carbon footprint. By choosing greener ways to commute, you're helping to create a cleaner, more sustainable Singapore. Join us on this journey to build a better future for ourselves and for generations to come.